Hi, everyone. Uh, this week for my discussion, I'm going to talk about the Wesleyan Methodists uh, from the article from Abolitionists to Fundamentalists, the Transformation of the Wesleyan Methodists in the 19th and 20th Centuries by Randall Stevens. The Wesleyan Methodists were formed in uh, 1843 to combat against the Methodist compromise with slavery. This new approach to Methodism advocated for a range of antebellum social reforms, uh, two of the major ones were women's rights and ending slavery. The Oberlin College in Ohio supported the Wesleyan Methodists uh, because they shared uh, a lot of the same beliefs. They were actually the first college in the United States to admit blacks and women into their program in 1833. The Wesleyan Methodists preached about Christian perfection and the model that they stressed among their supporters was called the perfect love. The missionaries that they sent out founded perfectionist schools like Wheaton College in Illinois and Adrian College in Michigan. By 1848, the Wesleyan Methodist Church gained a reputation as a center for social reform. They hosted the first women's rights gathering in the United States and played a role in freeing slaves through the Underground Railroad. The way that the Wesleyan Methodists stood against the social norms led them to condemn the use of alcohol, oppose secret societies, and support pacifism. Me, myself, I am not against the use of alcohol. I think secret societies are pretty cool, and I'm a huge fan of the UFC, so pacifism is probably not my thing. But one of their disciplines called Peace stated, we believe in we believe the gospel of Christ to be in every way opposed to the practice of war in all its forms, and those customs which tend to foster and perpetuate the, perpetuate the war spirit to be inconsistent with the benevolent designs the Christian religion. When the Civil War broke out, they pledged their full support to the Union. They really kind of put aside their pacifism and stated their opposition to slavery and commitment of and their commitment to cleansing society of the evils of man stealing. This is just the start of what the Wesleyan Methodists contributed to America. I urge everyone to take some time, read up on how important this denomination was to America and the impacts that it has or the impacts that they had on the culture that we that we have today. Thank you very much. Thank you all for watching my video. Looking forward to see what your comments are. See you guys on the discussion board. Have a great week.